So greetings from Turin. I am here for the Grand Fondo Torino and I'm here to pick up my bike. Uh, it was kind of a long trip but um, we managed to make it and I'm looking forward to doing 100 kilometers the day after tomorrow. So I got my bike and it's a Focus a carbon fiber bike. It's looking pretty good so far. It's a, it's a little dirty but that's fine. I know it seems to ride just fine. I'm gonna take it a, for a quick spin around the block. Um, picked it up at Turin Bike and Turin Bike was wonderful. Enrico was a great guy. Uh, highly recommend him. So I rode my bike around. I had my GoPro on and I put it on this new two peak mount. Um, but it looks like the GoPro shut off, so I don't know if it's because it ran out of memory space or maybe the button turned off or something or I waited too long and it zoned out. So we'll see if I got any video from this little ride. Alright, I'm out. I'm going to go get my registration. I went for a ride. She's doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's a pretty city. Registration is done. Uh, the folks were super nice at registration. Did not they did not mind my bad Italian and, and they spoke English too, so that was great. So very great experience so far. Very quick. Uh, of course, a lot of bouncing around to get the time chip and um, registration, daily license, and all that. But overall, so I made it. It was like a three and a half kilometer ride. It was, took a little longer than I thought, but I here I'm here. I walking I'm walking past the vendors, uh, and I'm heading to registration now. So I'm just going further deeper into the complex. Um, looking very professional. It reminds me of Roubaix. There's a velodrome or motodrome, I should say. Uh, but just like in Roubaix where they have the velodrome where you, you begin and end the race, here is a velodrome or melodrome. God, I keep mixing them up. Motodrome. So, uh, so I don't think we'll be riding on it, but um, yeah, it's looking good so far. So I'm carbo loading the night before. I had a pizza and spaghetti bolognese. That's enough. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a big breakfast tomorrow because the, I'll be leaving by the time breakfast opens up the hotel. I'm kind of nervous. It hasn't quite hit yet. Uh, once I pin my numbers onto my bike and my uh, jersey, it'll be uh, it'll get more real. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's gonna be a hard day. I'm, I have no illusions about that. pin my number to the handlebar of my rental and then put on the time chip and that's what's left to do uh, in terms of maintenance. So the next thing uh, is to make sure I gather all my stuff for the ride tomorrow and that's uh, I think I've got mostly everything is just making sure everything's in, in one spot so I can find it. <laughs> um, I bought a, a CO2 cartridge uh, but it looks like it didn't make it home with me for some reason so I'm going to have to probably buy another one. I mean I can go without it I can go with a pump um, and generally that has worked so far because I have not had flats, knock on wood, but um, uh, there's always a first time for everything. I mean, my last flat was at Frankfurt Eschborn, and I was able to moderately pump up the tire with a pump. I wish I had a CO2 cartridge, so maybe tomorrow morning I'm going to buy another one. I really don't like them because I think they're wasteful, but um, they're easy and they're fast, and I really want to get done as soon as I can because it's going to be just such a long day. I want to be stuck seven hours doing it. I want to do it in under six. 
that's my that's my hope. Uh, my fastest 100k was three and a half hours, and that was all. Of that. Um, that was super nice, but this is gonna be super hilly, so I'm gonna be a lot slower. Uh, and if uh, the Grand Fondo Strada Bianca was any uh, indication, I'm definitely gonna be on the slower side. I'm probably gonna be average about 24 hours an hour. I want to be fast. I want to get it done. And, uh, I want to have a good time too. So that's that's the most important thing. It's the day of the race. Uh, I'm running a little late, so the, it's opening in like 15 minutes, and it takes about 15 minutes to get there. So I'm gonna go uh, go ride real quick to get down there. It's a late start. Definitely very getting very nervous as I'm getting to the start line. I'm waiting for the green. Oh, there's the green. I gotta go. <laughs> Forty-five kilometers in, uh, I was late, so I really had to get going. So I couldn't take much video of the start line. Uh, my back is killing me because of the, you know, the the new bike. I'm not used to it. So I need to take a lot more breaks to stretch it out and maybe let my heart rate come down a little bit. I'm in a straightaway currently. So uh, I'm hopefully gonna hit the halfway point uh, and then just hopefully keep trucking. And that's the... Forza! Minor disaster, had a flat tire. I'm at 60 something kilometers and I'm uh, gonna keep going now. I just fixed it, so. Wasted too much time doing that. Just endured a terrible climb. I'm just so tired. I'm at uh, 80 something kilometers in. And across the crossroads, I hit the top of a ridge so you can see it's a beautiful little idyllic village oh my god there's a little bit of downhill but there's another climb coming up i just want to catch my breath for a minute oh my god i'm almost done just gotta hang in there okay so i'm at 104 kilometers i've got two to go and I had to get off to walk. This last five kilometers is like the meanest five kilometers I've ever had. It's like 10 to 15% gradient, three miles. I'm just walking up the hard part till I can get to the, the more flat and I can start trying again. Oh, the lower back is really, really killing me. Oh, but I gotta keep moving. I gotta finish, I gotta finish. did it the last climb was awful but uh, I did it got my wood medal now I'm gonna find a beer <laughs> 